Hello, we're up in Kaibab Lake Campground. Really awesome place, beautiful lake. These sites are spread out, gorgeous weather, even cooler than the Grand Canyon right now today in the summertime. But we're gonna learn how to unhitch the 2021 Tab 400. So the first and foremost, you get your trailer in the right position. Before you start unhitching anything off the ball joint, you actually wanna go after these wheel shocks. These wheel shocks here, you wanna get, we have four of them front and back, both sides of the top, uh, with both wheels. So you want front and back, so therefore when you do want to hitch or anything happens, it's not moving on you or take it down a hill or anything like that. We want to make sure you're safe. So of course, get those wheel chocks down and ready to go. Follow me over here. Over here at the ball joint and tongue jack. Ball joint and tongue jack. So what we like to do, I just like to work you know, backwards a little bit. Um, and then on the hitching video, you probably have seen me going the other way around. So what we're going to do first is I like to take off the D-ring. As you see the D-ring and the, and the anti or the brake cable here is all on its own. It's not hooked up to anything else. That is exactly how you want it hooked up. But to take it off, just screw that thing down, screw it back together. Keep the D-ring on there. Don't take it out or try to place it somewhere else. Therefore, you don't lose it. Place that off to the side. And then go ahead and the two chains, nice and easy. We're gonna bring those off to the side as well. All right, two chains off to the side. Now what's left is the ball joint and the sway bar. So what we wanna do with the sway bar, we wanna loosen it up. So righty tighty, lefty loosey, as mom and dad always said. And then you got the cotter pins, right? We're gonna take that off. What I like to do is make sure it's back right on. Therefore that stays on there and doesn't get lost anywhere when, while you're camping or on your trip. Same thing over here. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Little doozy. Pull that right out. I'm gonna put it right back in. Therefore, everything's all ready to go. I like to just go ahead and if you like, if you're gonna stay in your campsite, go ahead and just place it underneath the trailer here. If you are gonna travel or if you're gonna leave the campsite, please put that inside the camper or inside the storage unit. Uh, therefore, it's kind of put away, it doesn't walk off on you. Um, last here, we're gonna go ahead and do this pin. I always like to do the electric cable there for everything else, but you always wanna unhitch this because it will drain your battery if you keep that on there. So go ahead and take that plug out, leave it off to the side, it's all good. Or you can wrap it right here so it's organized and clean. Take out the pin, this lever level here, it's right up, now it's unlocked, that easy. When you place it back down, it's locked in there. I always like to place this cotter pin back. Again, keep those pins together so you don't lose them. Now that that's all set to go, I like to use a couple orange Legos for the jack so it's not sinking into the asphalt. With soft asphalt up in the campgrounds or it's warm, that asphalt gets pretty warm. Uh, the jack itself will bury inside there, maybe start bending. We don't want that. This will keep it nice and level and clean for you. So to lower the jack, you're going to go ahead towards clockwise, make it right. It's going to take some time to get down there. But once you go ahead and lift this up, this jack will, or excuse me, the tongue will come up off the, the, the car in the ball joint. And then you'll be able to make sure you have enough space and access so that you pull away, you don't hit anything. That's simple. Last but not least, I do have a lock for this. So if you did leave your campsite or left the trailer, we could go ahead and lock this up. And, uh, you know, no one can try to grab it that way. So, um, therefore, it's all secured, locked away. You don't worry about this traveling somewhere else where you didn't put it. Um, but that's it. That's how you pretty much take care of the ball joint.